Yeah, my talk's about the history of radar and the way that mathematics actually led to the invention of radar and without mathematical calculations radar would never have happened and we would have probably lost the war as a result. I would argue that that was one of the most important mathematical calculations ever made. It's not important in the sense that it was groundbreaking research, that it opened up a new field, um, or that in a sense it was particularly difficult, but it was important in that it completely changed history. My interest in radar was sparked by the fact that my grandfather during the war was a scientist who worked in radar and he particularly was involved in the radars that were used to detect the U-boats. So that's always been a strong interest of mine. And then when I looked into the history of it, I got really interested in the, the actual people involved, people like Robert Watson Watt and Wilkins, and the way that mathematicians really got involved with the process of developing radar and thus winning the war. The University of Birmingham played an absolutely vital role in the development of radar during the war. There's a guy, a couple of guys called Randall and Boot who invented a thing called the cavity magnetron. And the cavity magnetron was the prime generator of radar waves in all the systems that we then used during the war and afterwards. And in fact, cavity magnetrons are still in use today. And Churchill um, immortalised the pilots with the uh, phrase, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. But Churchill was also fully aware of the importance the radar played and in fact was very scientifically um, literate. I've made a career out of applying maths to problems in industry and that all comes from the fact that I used to work in industry as a mathematician. So what I do is I take things which I think mathematics can be used to describe describe them using maths and then use the maths to make them better. There's all sorts of reasons why students should study maths. The main reason any student should study maths is because they enjoy maths. If you like maths at school, do maths at university. And you can enjoy the challenge and real sort of process of trying to solve problems that maths trains you in. But also maths has all sorts of applications and leads to all sorts of interesting careers and helps you understand the world as well. Maths is a fantastic degree to do. It's really challenging. Everyone um, who I know and teach it enjoys doing it and do it because you want to do mathematics. If you do mathematics at university there will be a fantastic job waiting for you at the end but the, the main thing is to enjoy it and enjoy the challenge.